Today's video, we're actually going to be talking about the best personal loans for bad credit and high debt to income ratio. Here's the thing about it with these here lenders. They usually don't focus on the major credit bureaus, okay? What they do, they focus on more or less their third party uh, constituents in order to determine uh, what's going on with your financial history, okay? So they're going to check like Clarity, which is owned by Experian, Data X, which is owned by Amplify. They may check your Factor Trust, which is owned by TransUnion. They may even check your Lexus Nexus, okay? In order for them to actually give you funding and stuff, they're more or less looking at what is your actual revenue coming in, okay? So that being said, Here's some things that I would tell you to do to boost up your credit score. If that's something that you're really worried about, you can add a subscription onto your credit. Uh, you can add Experian Boost. That will boost up your Experian credit score. My FICO Ultra, uh, it helps with all three credit scores, removing inquiries, authorized users, extra debit card. This is something that many people miss out on because uh, with the extra debit card app or One Financial, signing up with them, then they'll report your debit card transaction to help boost up your credit score as well, and it gives you a trade line. Adding authorized users. Here's the thing about it. Authorized users does help boost up your credit score. The thing about it with authorized users with a FICO 8 bank card score, it doesn't include it. However, with your FICO 9, it will help boost up the credit score. Also adding rent. Rent in itself, 45 up to 60 points to increase your credit score. So adding rent itself can help you as well. That being said, some of the lenders that don't look at the credit score, they look at how long you've been on the job, how much is your income. So they have a set amounts of what the requirements, requirements will be, but they're more or less interested in getting do you have income coming in okay uh how long you possibly been on your job if you not on a job some of these lenders will work with you if you're on disability and retirement as well okay so just keep that in mind also for you guys that may have spouses you can also include your spouse income on these here applications if you're on disability and you're renting out a room, that's income that you can include. If you're on Social Security or you're on retirement receiving annuity money from a 401k, as well as your retirement, you can also include that on the application because it helps increase it. That way you have a higher chance of getting a larger amount. Now with FunJoy, again, it's not about the credit score, okay? They most don't do an income verification. Their loans go from 200 up to 5,000. You do have to have an active bank account. That's another thing with some of these lenders. The biggest part, do you have an active bank account? So that's very important, okay? So they offer personal loans as well as payday loans. Now the maximum loan amount is up to 5,000, okay? But you do have to have an active phone number and an active email as well. Now you have universal credit. Now their average credit score their credit score, minimum credit score is 560. The average credit score is a 638. But here's the good thing about it. Their debt to income ratio, like I said, you may have a debt to income ratio over that 50, 55% threshold. They go up to 75. Now, the reason that I was telling you about adding some of those other trade lines, again, you can actually apply for this here with a soft inquiry to see if you now the average income on this here is sixty thousand dollars. That doesn't mean you have to be making sixty thousand dollars, but that's the average. And their loans go from a thousand up to fifty thousand. Upgrade their loans go from five hundred up to fifty thousand. You can apply for this with a soft inquiry to see if you how much you approve for. The average income is seventy eight thousand. Have to have at least two accounts on the credit file again. And letting you all know that you have to have at least two accounts on your credit file in order for them to take you into consideration. Here you go, 75% income. Now, unfortunately, their situation is that they don't operate in the following states, Colorado, Idaho, New York, Vermont, Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. That may be a challenge for you if you're trying to go with upgrade. 
Uh, then you have Money Mutual. Money Mutual operates in all 50 states. Uh, you have to only be making at least $800. But again, like I said, these are lenders. They're not about the credit score. They're working with people with high debt to income ratio where the banks say, hey, we don't want to take a chance on you. Or the credit union say, hey, we don't want to take a chance on you. So that's the reason why. Because I have had people with 750 credit scores went to Penn Fed. And again, Penn Fed said no. And it was because they had too much open revolving credit card debt. So one of the strategies for you to do is try to get, get approved for one of these here loans and pay down some of the revolving that and I would set if I have multiple revolving accounts open, I would set them up from smallest to largest and try to pay as many down as possible with one of these here type of loans. So your credit score can go up, then you can go to the major banks and be able to get access to more funds. Now you have credit loans, credit loans uh, again, it's not about it's not about the credit. It's all about how long you've been on the job, how long you've been at your place of residence. Even if you in check system with some of these lenders that I'm talking about, they are still willing to work with you, okay? If you have bad credit, credit loans will, the maximum they're willing to loan you is up to 5,000, but they don't operate in New York as well as Connecticut. Now you have Upstart. And here's the interesting thing about upgrading Upstart. I have seen people that are in chapter 3 ch excuse me chapter 11 bankruptcies and they would still approve for a personal loan through upgrade and upstart okay so that shows you that these here lenders they're still willing to work with you even if you're in a bankruptcy all right some of them may not be but there are some here that definitely will still be willing to work with you. Now with Upstart, the minimum annual income is 12,000. Operate in all 50 states, and their loans go from 1,000 up to 50,000, and you can actually apply for this without a hard inquiry. Then you have bad credit, credit loans. Bad credit loans is a platform and their loans go from 500 up to 10,000. So it's a platform that works with you. So even if you're self-employed, they're willing to help you find a loan, okay? But you do have to have active email, work, and telephone number. Now, you also have personalloans.com. Again, not about the credit score. This is something that I think a lot of people, it hurts them because they're like, well, I have a bad credit score. There are platforms out there that's able to help you find lenders and stuff. Long as you have some type of income stability, you've been at your place of residence a pretty long time, usually about, I would say, if you've been at your place of residence about two years, it qualifies. Now, that does not mean that if you've been at your place of residence for less than two years, you won't qualify. I'm just saying, higher chances of getting larger amounts. In reference to the loan limits go from 1000 up to 35000 You have to have an active bank account. They're going to ask for driver's license ID to verify and stuff. But they definitely can do a soft pull to see what you qualify for. And then when you actually qualify, prove or accept that lender's offer, they may do a hard pull from that lender. But they are a platform. Hey, what's up, guys? Houston here. Let me ask you. Are you tired of missing out on opportunities because you have lack of funding or because you have bad credit? Are you tired of being told no after you submitted an application and they never told you exactly why you was denied? Have you ever went to the bank with a perfect credit score and applied for a loan or a credit card and they came back and said no and then the banker looked at you and said, well, I don't know what to tell you. Well, if that's your problem, I want to help you. I want to use my database to help you get the funding, whether it's on a personal side or business side, for you. All right? Now, again, all I ask by you clicking the link on this here page to schedule your 15-minute, 30-minute, or one-hour consultation, and you'll be speaking directly with me. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.